Thank you for that, bud. All fun, oh, great to see you, mate. Great to see <laughs> you. Wow. Okay, guys, let's explore. Now, what's around the corner? What's around the corner? Around here. Ah, living room, eleven room, and a bed, and a bed. This is the bed. Let's see what's outside there. Hunter, go upstairs. Guys. Yeah. 6.30 a.m. Vancouver, the sun is not up yet. We are just heading down to the lobby of our building. We are getting picked up by an old friend of mine, Ian Simpson. Simo, the old Watsonians or uh, Edinburgh rugby fans out there. Uh, I used to play rugby many years ago with Simo. He's lived in Vancouver for quite a long time now. He's taken us for a bit of cold plunging. So, cold water this morning. You looking forward to it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be cold though. Guys, we're at Lynn cold. Valley Canyon. Big Simo's here, pal from Edinburgh. Simo, how long have you been here? Eight years now. Eight years in Vancouver. Yeah. And unbelievably, uh, on the way here, Hunter spotted a black bear on the street. Check this out. <clears throat> okay, so Simo picks us up at 6.30 pitch, Not pitch black, but city darkness mm -hmm. We're going through the city We're over the bridge, so we're out of the city And then Hunter, out of nowhere Shouts bear hey, Wait, Where? Where? The football goals? No, oh, guys, there's, there's a bear There's a bear, bear. Is there? Oh, yeah, oh is he up in the bin? Where, no, where's he where's pointing right, up? Right, right. Is it right down there? He turned the corner. Along there? Along there. There was a bear. Are you sure? What were you thinking? Because you were in the back with him. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't see anything. So, to be honest, I just thought he'd mistaken it for something else. Yeah, and I think I could... Because I'm normally like the eagle eye that spots a lot of things. I'm like, nah, he's not having this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then, I mean, God bless Simo. Simo just went, right, we're going bear hunting. Well, he'd accidentally taken a wrong turn as well, so it was meant he, to be. It, uh, he said, said, this is fate, this is meant to happen, we were meant to see this bear because he did take a wrong turn and we were just going to loop round. Mm. <clears throat> and Hunter announced the bear. I mean, I don't know how he spotted it. It's no idea. very impressive. But we were looking into the playing fields of a primary school. So Simo carried on and took a right, or was about to take a right, and we saw it running across the road. Mm. <laughs> Is that primary school as well? They're going to get a fright when they go in this mm. morning. Yeah. There he is. Where? You're right, I think. He's crossing the road right now, look. There! there oh there, my word, he's massive! Oh, he's going into oh, the road. Oh, oh, <laughs> and you could instantly tell it was big. It was massive. Simo took a right and then approached the driveway and there it was walking down the driveway. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well spotted, guys. Well spotted. Now we don't want to go too close to him. But he's a oh, big boy. He is a big boy. Oh, well yeah. spotted, guys. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm going to move I'm a little bit forward so you guys can see him. Oh, he's gone around the corner. Oh. And it disappeared into a back garden. So this bear, bigger than any of the other two we'd seen, mm. the two we saw up close in Whistler, this was bit much bigger. It was the third one. So this is number four. This is number four. Fourth black bear. And this was, it was a residential street. Mm. This was just a normal, everyday street across the road from a primary school. The bear disappeared, Simo turned the next corner and creeped along the road. 
and it was magical the kids reaction because we were obviously in the back of the car so you guys couldn't see so much through the front mm -hmm. and uh, the pair the bear, the bear had literally just poked his head out of the gate he was like okay oh yeah as if you're in the joint yeah and then backed up back back in again by the time you guys had reversed so i didn't see that it's the kids reaction you, you all went mental in the back seat which you can hear <laughs> in the video and then Simo gradually creeped forward and then I saw him first sticking his head out and he jumped over that stick. Just that rubbing log, his belly. And off he went, trotted along the street. <laughs> oh, he's in the garden there. <laughs> now she literally just puts his head out of the Where's he going? <laughs> he's he's Sorry, Bez is still very exciting for Oh, me. it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, Hunter, you should have the phone. He literally just stood there and put his head out. Well, he he might come out with the next bit. Oh, my goodness. That was... Oh, he's eating it. Oh, he's, he's right there. Hunter, you should have the phone. Oh, he's literally just stood there and put his head out. Oh, my goodness. That was magical. Oh, you're not... Oh, he's eating it. 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 Oh, don't frighten them. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought the window was open. What a big boy. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, well, we don't need to do anything else this morning. So, would you take us home? Literally, yeah. I'm just oh. going to cruise past them and then let him be. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's so big. Well done for spotting that, guys. Oh, he's just in there now? Yeah. Somebody's over there. Someone's gonna have the freak. He is a beast. Oh my word, guys, look at go. that. Yeah. He looked he looked really scared though, I didn't want to. You, you know the bit he looked how did I say clean? He's shiny, shiny yeah, fur. healthy. Looked healthy, looked, looked thick. Mm. He, he didn't look like a shaggy old bear or something. He looked like well fed. He probably yeah, is in the like city. city yeah, McDonald's bear. Yeah, eating all the rubbish and the trash and that, mm. but for that to be I don't know what why is a bear like that roaming around the city? Obviously, there probably is food there, a lot of food there for so a bit. So, what, maybe 20 minutes? No, not even. 15 minutes on the outskirts of Vancouver, wasn't it? So, like a lovely, leafy, clean... Oh, just a residential street. Yeah. Nice houses, primary school, as we've said, and this massive bears walk along the street. I, I can't comprehend to that, to the sort of the locals, that that's normal. It's amazing, though, because obviously that was the, our reaction and the fact that we loved that so much because it wasn't expected. And then we're like, you don't even need to take us to the canyon. We can just... Well, we weren't expecting that bear. So obviously I didn't bring... We're in Vancouver. We're in the city. I didn't take the bear spray with us that morning. <laughs> so we've seen a massive bear and then we head on to Lin, Linden Canyon. Lynn Valley. Lynn Valley. And um, we're Park. obviously deep into the forest. Prime bear country. We've just seen a bear in the in the in the village in the town, and we're and it's first thing in the morning when no one else is around. No one else is around, but saying that, when we got to the cold water plunge, there was already people there. Yeah, and well, there was one guy already in the water. Yeah, and he'd apparently been there for an hour. Been in the water for an hour, and, and it was he, freezing. He came out right as rain. Yeah, cool as a cucumber. Uh, but do you remember walking back? I um, there were. So mushrooms. Walk, there was mushrooms, but walking, um, say, walking to the cold plunge, there was two coffee cups. Yeah, which you said we'd pick up on the way back. We'll get them on the way back. And when we went back, they'd been knocked over. Uh -huh. They were on the floor and the lids were off them. And some mushrooms nearby had been... Yeah, scattered. and mm -hmm. So we kind of thought, oh God. So we did take the coffee cups. We did clean up after other people. But something... Um, knocked those cups over and took the lids off and maybe had a sniff around and a lick of old coffee or hot chocolate, whatever mm. it might have been. Oh, there's something on the surface over there. What is that? Oh, fine. There we go, and it's just you clearing your mind and taking in everything around us, all of the nature and the river and the sounds, and then just taking in some deep breaths and then go. That's how we start our day. You just keep that rhythm going. It might make you feel a little bit tingly. I was gonna say it makes me a bit dizzy. Oh, yeah, a little bit lightheaded. Start thinking about the rest of your trip and all the adventures that you want to have. 
all the amazing times you're going to have together. Okay, let's do 10 big breaths and then we're going to hold our breath in. One, seven, eight, nine. Big breath in. Let everything out. <sighs> Amazing. This is the best way to start your day. Oh my word. Thank you for bringing us here. Yeah, of course. You big bear. Thank you for that, bud. Oh, oh. Great to see you, mate. Great to see <laughs> awesome. you. Awesome. Hey guys, Saturday morning, we've already been for a cold plunge and seen the biggest bear yet. We've now got some bikes and we're on an adventure to go and explore Stanley Park. Loving Vancouver. We are here at the Grenville Island Public Market. Hunter, you're gonna go and dance? is in sensory overload. The smells here, the fruit, the meat, everything. Hi guys, we are in Kitsilano, Big Simo, uh, he does a bit of uh, storage wars over here in Vancouver. If you've seen it on Discovery Channel or any of the TV shows, he buys units and then he sells the stock and finds treasure. So today he's got a sale on and we're going to go and see what's happening. We've just finished at Simo's, that was great fun. Uh, Simo, love what you're doing mate, you've set up a fantastic life out here. Um, 
keep smashing it mate the entrepreneurial spirit the cold water everything you're doing is uh, very very inspiring but we've just stumbled upon the Meraloma Rugby Club the boys are absolutely delighted because there is a game just about to start Through the Rockies and obviously it's certainly in Vancouver can't help but be impressed these are all fitness uh, fitness setups bars pull-up bars rings everything right behind us here basketball courts free for public use volleyball over there these are all along the beaches all along the parks yeah. Canada you're doing it right I think and I know there'll be many countries like this and many places like this but I don't feel that Edinburgh Scotland does it right in this regard um, there's so much free stuff for people to keep fit and healthy. It's awesome. I'm going to tell you, this feels very COVID. If you remember the COVID, you'd be at work and you'd have your top layer on and then you'd have like shorts or in. Abby's just in her pants. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are now in Maui. We're in Hawaii, Canada already. It sadly feels like a bit of a, me a distant memory now because we've been here for one day. And so much has happened. So the wildlife here is unbelievable. We've come from obviously the Rockies and elk and black bears and all that sort of things in Canada. Everything sort of on the surface, in the trees, in the forests, in the streets. Now we're underwater mm -hmm. um, and there is so much life underwater here in Maui. But the and magical thing is the kids' reaction. They're so excited to come here weren't they? Hunter burst into our room this morning like it was Christmas day. He did. We were both sound asleep, a little <laughs> bit of jet lag, flying in from Vancouver. We were very very late getting settled so last it's night. it's technically half twelve midnight but half past nine here. Yeah it's half so we were a bit all over the place and um, Hunter's come bowling into our room and woken us up. He was already dressed um, but then same Skyla and Rocky there was no issues there getting them up. No, they couldn't wait to get out. Because yeah. we arrived in pitch black, we obviously had no idea what everything really looked like. Mm -hmm, last night. So waking up this morning to see the sea right there with the beach, yeah. the hills in the background, yeah. blue sky, it was beautiful. Um, and we're in a nice spot. We're sitting in, in the kitchen here, as we've said before, we've got kitchen <clears throat> in this one. So check out our YouTube video next week. It'll be all about Maui. Um, let you in a little secret. There's going to be sea turtles. Seals. Seals. Stingray. St stingray. Um, what else have we seen? Okay. Eels. Fish. Yeah. There's going to be all sorts, but we're uh, we're going on many adventures while we're here. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. Please keep subscribing. Tell your friends. Give us a like and a comment. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>